Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out Chrome version 144, which is now the latest stable release. And this latest version upgrade rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 13th of January. Now, once the update has been applied, version and build is sitting on 144.0.7559.59 or 0.60. Either or running Linux, Windows or Mac means your browser is fully patched on version 144. Now, first of all, just to look at what has rolled out in regards to security fixes. For version 144, we get 10 security fixes that have been made available. Three of those are fixing high severity vulnerabilities, which are tracked as out-of-bounds memory access in V8, inappropriate implementation in V8, and inappropriate implementation in Blink. And then we've got a couple of medium vulnerabilities and a couple of lows. So three high severities, thankfully no critical or any zero days that need to be patched. Ten security fixes have rolled out in total in this latest version upgrade. Now, focusing on what's new with 144, this is actually quite a light release and at the end of the day is basically a security update, but there are a couple of things taking place that you may be interested in that have also rolled out. First of all, there's more AI and Gemini integration, which can be expected due to the fact that Google and both Microsoft are intent to push AI into their browsers. And the first is you can now share the content of multiple open tabs with AI mode simultaneously, which will allow Gemini to compare information. It will summarize research across different sources and can also answer questions based on a broader context of your current work. So if you are into AI, that may be a move in the right direction. And then for non-enterprise users, if you do have a Gemini subscription, you can now perform actions across Google services like YouTube, Maps, Gmail, and Drive directly from the browser itself. That's obviously if, if you have a AI subscription. And we've also got a security change where in this release, it includes measures to prevent third-party sites from using the HSTS, which stands for HTTP strict transport security cache to track users across the web. So that's a bit of a security enhancement taking place under the hood, which is nice to see. And according to Google, there's also smoother visual transitions between different states of a web page, making web apps, Google says, feel more like native mobile apps, apparently. And Google also says that it's fixed a bug where using the keyboard to scroll would sometimes cause the page to bounce or act glitchy at the bottom. So if you were experiencing that issue, according to Google, that has been patched. And then when you use Control and F, there's a bit of an improvement for this feature. When you use Control and F to find text, websites can now make the highlights easier to see so they don't blend into the background. So that's a small little change taking place for find on page. And if you are asking the question regarding MV2 extensions and uBlock Origin, uBlock Origin is still working as of Chrome version 144. So I'll leave the video for how I applied the workaround to get MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin back and working again. I'll leave it down below and in the end screen but seems that everything is still fine. uBlock and MV2 extensions using that workaround are posted back when version 142 rolled out. uBlock Origin is still working fine in version 144 in case you were wondering. So guys, that's more or less what's taking place in this latest release, quite a light release. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.